Good afternoon, my name is Jim Conlon and welcome to the latest episode of our entertainment show. As you know, in part three of our entertainment show each week, we premiere a new movie or TV series that is debuting here in Ireland and the UK, and especially here in Ireland where Irish eyes are smiling. And up for discussion this week, it's back, uh, a phenomenal run. Uh, it was supposed to only stay around our TV screens for one, maybe two seasons at max, but here it is after season six, after 127 episodes and it's still flourishing on our TV screens, Young Sheldon is back on Channel E4, starring the wonderful cast of Ian Armitage, Zoe Perry, uh, Lance Barber, Montana Jordan, uh, Reagan Rivard, Wallace Shawn, Rex Lane, and our special guest this evening, he plays the one and only coach Dale Ballard. Uh, Craig T. Nelson and I left Emily Osmond apologies off that list as well the great Emily Osmond as well Craig mm. once you got involved in Young Sheldon and you came on this sort of recurring role as coach Dale Ballard little behold did you think it would be still you'd be playing this role well into the sixth season no I, I really didn't I thought you know I had talked to Chuck uh, Laurie the creator and and uh you know, maybe six shows, do six and see how it went. And, you know, it's it's like uh, everything turned out OK and we just kept going. Yeah. And what strikes me so well about uh, Young Sheldon is it's, it's created its own fan base separate from the Big Bang Theory. It was supposed to be a big a spin off, obviously, as we know, the Big Bang Theory following the life of Sheldon Cooper. But it's created its own fan base that maybe wouldn't have followed the Big Bang Theory, but are now fans of uh, Young Sheldon. So that's always great when a, a TV series that is supposed to be a spin off can stand on its own two feet. Yeah. Uh... I think I think that's true. I, I I think well, again you have uh, you know pretty great writing staff. So I think the um, the amount of the cat the, the the cast members and the way they made it work and they facilitated everybody. So I I, I think the diversity and you know you're going from very young to very old. Let's say, uh, and, and I'm not speaking about myself, but you get that kind of uh, elderly aspect also. So it's a full range. And so that kind of diversity uh, in the cast, I think is very, it's integral to the success of the show. Now you've got to be able to write to it. And that's where they're so successful. And can you tell us our audience who might have seen uh, Young Sheldon before in terms of the upcoming seasons uh, uh, about your character, Dale Ballard, just a quick reflection. Is he that hard-nosed PE teacher that uh, is down on the sort of nerdy kids, the non-sort of sporty kids? Does everyone have to be a sports perfectionist in his eyes? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, it was just a, a side job that he had, which was coaching the baseball team. And, uh, you know, as exasperating as that could be with little people who are insane most of the time, um, he's able to divert his attention to um, Mima, which is the grandmother, Annie Potts. And uh, there's kind of a love interest there. And then they got together and decided that uh, perhaps they had something in common, which was a mutual antagonism, I suppose. And, and, uh, so the that relationship is really where the two of them, Annie Potts and, and myself, are involved. And uh, it, it's, you know, and it, it's a love story, really. Yeah, and that sort of elderly sort of romance. And uh, in terms <laughs> of when you started off uh, initially uh, coming on a young Sheldon you dealt with a very young uh, Ian Armitage basically a child I imagine in terms of he would come and he'd say yes sir no sir pleasure sort of sir but as the seasons have gone on now does he meet you now and does he say hey Craig what's up uh, Craig did you uh, see that you last know, night or he's amazing he really is he, he hasn't changed it's like I mean he's grown exponential okay it, that's the amazing thing is when you're working with a cast that is young in the beginning, you know, and you, you watch them grow. No, he's, uh, he's very formal. He's, uh, it's always like, it, it seems like he's always in character, which really bothers me because I think there should be a break once in a while, but 
he's a great kid. He really is. He's wide open. He's he's a lot of fun. It's it's really wonderful to see. And we speak spoke about one talented kid, but we have to mention the other one as well. For me, she probably steals the show and very much in terms of her talents, the, the very gifted Reagan River, to, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, in terms yeah, of that. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, those, you know, the kids are so smart. I mean, they really are. Reagan's got a whole life outside of young children. She's, you know, developing as a young woman. She's an author. She's really quite something. I mean, it's, um, it's a lot different than I think the environment that you would expect. Um, the kids are nurtured. They're really, you know, they're very um, adaptable um, and they're wonderful to be around. It's, it's just great. And, and to watch them grow and develop. It's within the structure of, you know, a Hollywood set. But I think also you've got people there, the actors, the older actors, that are also participating in that for sure. And you don't have, you really don't have any kind of um, ego there. So, uh, I mean, and most of us are parents or grandparents or great grandparents in, in my case. Um, so you, you've you been around it and, and you know, having worked in the industry, how difficult it is for a child to grow up in the industry. And yet, at the same time, you see something like this that's, that's uh, on young Sheldon, the kids on young Sheldon. And uh, it's very satisfying, very gratifying. Yeah. And uh, in terms of Craig, in terms of you mentioned the, the cast and the, your love story uh, in terms of young Sheldon. And how important is that sort of interaction between your character and Lance Barber and Zoe Perry in terms of obviously you're playing that sort of love interest of Nima as well. So yeah. is, there, is there a sort of good in terms of interaction, in terms of that chemistry between yourself and Zoe and Lance? Is that sort of developed as the years have gone on in young Sheldon? Yeah, um, it has. And, uh, you know, I always, you always look forward to, um, you know, the storylines each year. Th this year is kind of an anomaly because we're in the middle of a strike. So we're not going to be starting here. Uh, the word is around September, um, Labor Day. So that's going to give us or give the writers and everybody else a half a season, basically. So that's kind of throwing a monkey wrench into everything. Um, so, but at the same time, you look forward to uh, where you're going to go from the ending uh, of the shows last year, from the end, to the possibilities of what might be coming up. Um, it, it, you always anticipate working with a variety of the cast, and and because it makes it so much fun. Um, and over overriding everything is 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 the enjoyment of going to work is being there and just having a good time you know just um getting up to speed with everybody and and seeing what everybody has to bring it's really fun and uh craig in terms of being a recurring sort of character in young sheldon uh, throughout the years has there been any times where you were about to engage in a project or start off with, at a project and chuck has maybe rang you up and said listen we might need you for one or two episodes now and to start a story and you're look, you were saying to yourself ryan just sign on to this project is there any way we can work it or rework it around that is there any has there been any clashes in your time as young Sheldon in terms no, of it's, been, it's been all uh I've been able to fit everything in uh when wow. it comes up so there's not no not at all as long as as long as you're giving everybody an advance notice there's nothing that comes up that's you know that immediate usually uh okay. I can't say that would be an anomaly but in the, in my regard I was doing a movie last year at uh, this time in, in Europe, and uh, we were going to start the season. So I had those dates ahead of time, and everything was scheduled accordingly. So uh, no, there's never, it, it, and overall, there's only been, I think, years and years ago, one one particular incident that was uh, where it 
two things clashed and it was rather difficult, but it was a misunderstanding, if you will. So yeah. anyway, no, there's no problem. And Craig, obviously you get to work with him uh, firsthand. Can you tell me about the the mindset and the the comic sort of genius of uh, Chuck Lorre? Because many people say he's had such an impact of the careers of the likes of Charlie Sheen and others, uh, to name a few, in terms of what the scripts he's been able to put by him. Do you think this guy is... Uh, comes in and he's constantly in that humorous ganter that he just sees he can make the slightest thing funny when other people might look at it maybe an apple and an orange and they couldn't see how you could make mm. make a laugh out of that is Chuck Lorre one of these guys that he sees the brightness and everything uh well I don't know about the brightness there is a some of that I think it's more his um, life experience that he's been able to, um, he's been able to condense it to the point where he's, he can write to it. And that can be the most difficult thing there is, especially I think in a video medium, in, in, a, in a visual medium. It's, it's one thing to be able to do it in a script as a narrative. It's another thing to be able to do it visually. And so, He's been able to assemble around him a team that is able to adapt and, and um, I would say, in some respects, compromise a vision that he has of, of a particular thing. And they're able to then add their own, put their own input in. So essentially, Chuck, I think his, his real genius is that in utilizing other people. I mean, it isn't, Chuck can have the initial ideas and, and want to express them, but he also relies on other people to deliver, to deliver. And he's been able to assemble that team around him, which is also part of, uh, part of the, the uh, uh, you know, genius is overused, but it's part of the, the tremendous ability he has to be able to do that. And it's worked. And so, you know, it's it's evident that he, he has a particular way of looking at characters and, and bringing them to life. Okay. And uh, Craig, before we came on air, you mentioned a special place in County Ireland that uh, uh, in the country of Ireland that has a place to you, uh, a place in the wee wee hills of Donegal, as <laughs> we say here in Ireland, Donegal, uh, yeah. a place called Ballyshannon. Uh, oh, Bally Shannon. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Bally Bunyan. And yeah. uh, I, I played it in the pouring rain and the driving wind, which I think is probably a very nice day. <laughs> and it was, I mean, it was to the point where you couldn't see, but it was so much fun. And I just love, I just love the people of Ireland. Um, they were so welcoming, so open, and so so much fun and it was one of my favorite places to visit and uh love to get back you know a uh, waterford um yeah you know just uh, i think we traveled well we traveled way too much because i mean i i think i saw every bump in the road and i on the roads in ireland but it was wonderful it was uh quite a quite a wonderful visit yeah, yeah. Well, it's the only way to get out, Craig, is to venture out on the, the west coast of Ireland and experience those sort of potholes instead of uh, uh, delving on airplanes. People spend too much of their lives on airplanes uh, these days. Uh, for Craig uh, Nelson, for the final 30 seconds, you might enlighten our viewers, all our listeners, why you should tune in for season six of Young Sheldon on Channel E4. And from Coach Dale Ballard to the Irish audience, uh, what's in store for them? Well, I think, you know, what I've what I've learned from being on the show and just getting some feedback is that it's a show the family can watch. There's not a there's not a darkness in it. I think it's um a show that alleviates a lot of the angst and and uh, turmoil that uh, most of us here in the United States are feeling at the present time. But it's it's one of those shows that you can, as a family, you can sit back and watch and enjoy and laugh and 
and perhaps uh, gain some insight when it's there. Um, it's, I think the cast itself is reflective of that kind of attitude. I mean, everybody there is pretty much having a, a pretty good time and it, for us, it's it's a joy to make people laugh and and to have them enjoy um, a show that can incorporate uh, a lot of the family and a lot of a lot of the values and issues that have somehow kind of passed out of our view, if you will. On that note, uh, Craig uh, T. Nelson, it's an absolute pleasure talking to you on the airways this evening. You play the character Coach Dale Ballard in Young Sheldon, season six airing this uh, coming month or so here in Ireland. Uh, over 127 episodes. No doubt, by the time it finishes, there'll be another 100 to come. But for the moment, uh, Craig, uh, pleasure speaking to you. From me, Jim Conlon, to you, Craig T. Nelson, stay safe, take care. God bless, sir. God, God bless. Thank you. Thank you.